urine collection from catheterized patients. Requirements Sterile containers, spirit swab, clamp, syringe, and needle. Never collect sample from urine bag. Collect from the catheter tube after cleaning it with a spirit swab. Clamp the catheter distally to allow urine to collect. Using a sterile syringe and needle, collect sufficient amount of urine sample. Transfer to a sterile container. Foley's catheter is not recommended for culture since growth represents distal urethral flora. Urine transfer device. Every urine sample is potentially infectious. By using the closed vacuum urine system, hygienic sample collection and laboratory processing can be ensured. The device consists of a urine transfer straw and a plastic tube with vacuum. Collect a clean catch urine sample in an appropriate urine beaker. Immerse the urine transfer device in the urine sample. Place the urine tube in the urine transfer device until the needle located in the funnel of the straw penetrates the stopper of the tube. The urine automatically flows into the tube in accordance with the exact defined vacuum. Remove the filled tube from the urine transfer device. Invert the tube several times after filling. Dispose of the urine transfer device and the urine beaker accordingly. The advantage of this tube is that transportation, centrifugation, analysis and storage can all be executed in a single sterile tube. Collection of wound swabs Gently clean skin around the wound prior to sample collection to reduce commensal flora contamination. Remove surface exudate by wiping with sterile saline or 70% alcohol. Tissue or aspirate is always superior to a swab specimen. If swabs must be used, collect two, one for culture and one for gram staining. Aspirate if possible or pass a swab deep into the lesion firmly. Sample the lesion's fresh border. The samples of the base of the lesion and abscess wall are most productive. Purulent exudates must be expressed onto swabs. Place the swab into the transport media. Label the swab with patient's full name, date or unique identification number, source of specimen and date and time of collection. Maintain swabs at room temperature and submit to the laboratory within 24 hours of collection. Deep wound specimens are optimal as the predictive value of superficial swabs is low. Investigation of deep wounds for anaerobes requires a special anaerobic collection kit available from the microbiology laboratory. Collection of throat swabs. Swab the tonsillar area and posterior pharynx. Place the swab into the transport media. Label swab with patient's full name date or unique identification number, source of specimen and date and time of collection. Maintain swabs at room temperature and submit to the laboratory within 24 hours of collection.